Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I remember using Internet Explorer 2.0. That was that was quite a browser. Wow, it, it was it was a nice browser back in the day. Uh, and I remember using Maxton, which still exists, as a matter of fact, uh, a great overlay to uh, I believe both WebKit now and the uh, underlying engine for Internet Explorer or Trident. Um, you know, I, I never really used Firefox, used Safari for uh, quite a while, and then eventually, at some point, uh, really in the past year or so, made the switch over to Google Chrome. And I'm not the only one. The Google Chrome browser is uh, uh, fantastic for me for a lot of reasons. I've blogged about it. I've shared uh, you know, my thoughts on Google Chrome in the past, so I'm not going to really rehash my thoughts. Uh, I love the ability to sync uh, information between browser sessions. It makes it easier to switch between a Mac OS X and a Windows PC or you know, anywhere I can run a Google Chrome and access my Google account. But uh, we've got the top 10 essential Google Chrome apps listed right now on LockerGnome.com. Hopefully you agree. And if you do, go to the, the link in the description, click it, and you can plus one it, tweet it, like it, share it on social media, and you should like it uh, if you didn't know. Uh, some of the ones that we believe are in the top 10. TweetDeck, uh, if you use Twitter, you don't like Twitter.com, TweetDeck has a separate app that can run within your web browser. You can always have that app open. Evernote Web, we're fans of Evernote at Locker Gnome. That shouldn't surprise you at all. Uh, there's also, if you didn't realize, uh, the Kindle Cloud Reader. So you install the Kindle Cloud Reader, you can get access to all your Kindle content from a web browser. If your device, well, your desktop PC should be able to run the Kindle software, uh, but if your device does not support the Kindle app natively, you can browse to it uh, by way of the web. We believe that a lot of people like the Kindle. And I would say that is a top app if you happen to want access to the content that you've uh, purchased or possibly emailed into your Kindle account. Uh, another one of those must-have apps uh, happens to be Layers. And think of Layers kind of like a Flipboard for your web browser. We just featured Flipboard in a video and a blog post on LockerGnome.com a few weeks back. Uh, it's a great way to navigate the news in Layers. And yes, you can add LockerGnome.com to your Layers. We've got a few other must-have apps. Try them you may be in full agreement with us, or maybe you disagree. There would be my question to you. Look at the list on LockerGnome.com, the blog post that we linked off to. Share it if you, if you can. We appreciate that when you do that for any one of our videos or blog posts. And if we're missing something, tell us which Google Chrome app we missed and why it deserves to be in a top list. That's what I want to hear from you. And if you have not yet tried Google Chrome, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's, it's free. I, like I said, I, I never really used Firefox, but to me, and hopefully this makes a bit of sense to you, uh, Google Chrome is the new Firefox.